Hello there, I'd like to um, show you the machines today, uh, a new augmented reality game for the iPhone. It's uh, been out less than a week, but I've managed to get hold of it on day of release and uh, I'd like to share it with you. So if we get it loaded up, and here we go, right, this is the, the machines, so at the moment I'm just laying out where I'm going to put the actual um, map and as you can see it's just laid on the rug just inside my living room here we go it's just loading up so just a few stats going to battles there's leaderboards down here that's my level between seven and eight currently and they're the heroes in the middle so I'll go straight in for a single player game not play online um, as I'm not brilliant at it, I'll just get destroyed straight away. So here, here you can see uh, the map, it's all laid out, look, and I'm actually moving around with my iPhone at the moment. Um, and obviously as you move with the iPhone, that changes the camera angle as well, so you can literally be at any point that you wish within the game, so you can get as close or as far back as you want to, really. And from what I can understand, the whole point of the game is destroying these turrets, which... Uh, the opposing team is currently destroying on my side at the moment. Um, you'll see my heroes in a moment. Here they come. So I'll move my iPhone around a little bit so I can get a bit of a better camera angle on it. But it's literally, you can zoom in as far as you want, pull it out. You just literally walk around. Um, it's probably easier playing it on a, on a table because um, I tend to find myself sat in different positions on our rug. And you do need a little bit of a space in order to... Uh, to get it all laid out on the floor or on your table. So here we go, look. As you can see, there's some icons on the screen. Now, the left and the right hand side in the very corners are the buttons that I use to control my heroes, as they're called. Um, and as you can see, as I'm moving my camera from my iPhone around, you can see there's a little crosshair in the middle. Now, tapping on either of those icons enables my hero to move to that location. Now the littler icons next to each side of it are like special moves and things like that. So the one on the right hand side is a picture of what looks to be a rocket. So if you if you tap on that, using your crosshair, you can fire rockets into that direction. Now, as you'll notice, the, it, it keeps giving me a number of points every time I destroy one of their minions or one of their heroes. Now you use those points to spend on the things on the right hand side. So there at the moment we've got a shield and then we've got two sets of turrets that I can set down um, and then obviously they cost 10 turrets so I'm about to lay one now it's got to be green so it's laid in the correct position and there's a turret as you can see right in front destroyed now. but obviously that's a cost of 10 for a turret 5 for a sh uh, shield I've got 83 points to spend at the moment, so I'll just pop another turret down. Um, in the middle there, there's five for health, so I can obviously boost the health. I'll just pop that down now, so the health's increasing on my on my troops there. Um, and you'll see on the right, on the left hand side, in the middle, it says 60. Well, that's like a, a high intensity shot, if you like. Um, against whatever I choose, so I might do it against one of their towers, or I might do it against one of their, uh, uh, or even a couple of their heroes. So I've got my shield open now, look, this just gives them a bit of added protection. But as you can see, just looking at the game, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they've really put some attention to detail in this game, and uh, although the maps are very, very similar at the moment, they may have more in the future, just being able to be at any point within the game I mean you, you can get as close or as far away you can twist in any way shape you want it just it just gets you more involved in the game I suppose it's a different it's a different version of virtual reality or augmented reality in terms of you using your phone as like the headset in order to get the best view so rather than having something over your eyes, you've got a little bit more, you've got a bit more freedom. At least you can see where you're going, I suppose. So here we go, I'm getting a bit closer to some of their turrets now. I've destroyed one of them. Um, 
It is much more difficult when you're playing against people online because I'm, I'm assuming there's people that have spent a lot of time with it. When I first purchased the game, there was a lot of bugs with it and I tended to find that when I got into 8 minutes left, it kept crashing out. But I've had a bit of uh, conversation with the developer and um, they've managed to put a fix in which uh, seems to have healed the game completely. I've not had any issues since that update. And the videos to send back and forth of the crashing and things that have been really switched on more so than any other developer I've ever had um, in terms of getting things sorted quite quickly. I think within three days of it being out, they'd re released three different updates. So they obviously uh, are keen to make this a big hit. I mean, for me, what I'd like to see coming forward is some uh, more maps. There are more heroes I've noticed, I don't know how you unlock them, um, it, there's nothing, it's not too clear really how that comes about, or whether they get released in future releases, but it'd be nice to have a few more maps to play on, maybe even select which map you'd like to play on, just to have a little uh, look around. The good thing about this as well is, although my um, heroes are following the same path, you can actually look around, there's different ways you can, you can go, um, sometimes you'll get a sneaky person online that'll send it round the back, send one round the back and one straight through the middle just to throw you off a little bit, and uh, you tend to find that these little minions tend to follow both heroes, so you can use that as a bit of a tactic. So, we're down to nearly the last four minutes, and uh, as you can see, it was still quite even. As you know, we've only got 24 points, well, 19 points to spend now, so I'm getting them out as quick as I can. Um, but obviously, you can't get any more points until you've killed something else. Um, so I'm still working on it. Oh, there's the sun's shoes in the air. <laughs> that is one thing. Um, even with all the things going on in the background, like the amount of people walking around and things, that the actual table, the, 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 the whole layout doesn't even seem to move. So I don't know how they've done that, but it's incredible how you can turn, you can do a 360 degree turn with your phone. Turn back to where the game table was, and it's exactly the same position as it was. Incredible, really. I'm going for it, I'm right down to their base, so my aim is to now destroy the the big circle as you see on the left hand side, um, but in order for me to destroy that I need to destroy the two turrets next to that, so that it, it releases like a, an electro charge that I've got to destroy. And we'll get a bit of a look round, didn't do too good there really. Let's make this uh, one good charge. Where are they? Here we go. Here come my heroes. Throw down that shield. Get these destroyed as quick as I can. There we go. So we'll move around to here. What I also like about the sound as well is you'll be moving around with your camera and say you're behind a rock or something, the sound quietens down and then when you go back round to, to see the action, the, the volume increases, so there's really been so much attention to detail with this. I can't emphasise enough how much attention is in it. I mean, um, you can see the bump mapping on the, uh, on the uh, ground there, which is incredible to be honest. So, here we go, I'm having one last blast of trying to get towards that base, there's a minute to go, just over, as you can see there's a lot going on, and it, it does seem a bit, you know, what's going on, what's going on sort of thing, but once you get into it, it's, it's 
quite easy. You've only got control of the two heroes, which is a good thing, because uh, it could be quite overwhelming with loads going on. So here we go, look, we'll have another go at that turret. Let's see what we can do. Are we going to destroy it? Are we going to destroy it so close? There we go. So, you'll see that big red thing, I'm going to, shoot, I'm going to call it their base, has now uh, just opened up. I can't quite see it though. Basically, there's an electro charge in the middle of it, which I've got to destroy. There we go. Right, there you go. Look, that red, red electro charge I've got to destroy. You can see the health going down on the right hand side. But, I'm probably going to get beaten by the time here. So, what tends to happen is when the time's gone, It'll just automatically detect who's, who's uh, destroyed the most, which in my case is going to be myself. So at least my first review on this is going to be a victory at least. So here we go. That's it, game finished. And you'll see my living room. Also, there we go, victory. Look at those spaceships flying around there. Right, there we go. There's the stats on it then. Um, and I've, I've virtually got myself to level 8 a little bit further. We'll have another look at that spaceship because it's just incredible that that's in my living room. But it's, it's really not. There we go. Well, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you again soon.